Tonight, a deadly fire in southwest Denver is still under investigation, and the couple who lived in the now burned out home on Stamford Drive is grieving over the loss of their son tonight. The father still in bad shape in the hospital. Denver 7's Liz Gillardi is in that neighborhood tonight, and Liz, you spoke to the people who jumped into action when they saw the flames. We did. You know, these neighbors didn't even think tr twice trying to get in through the front door, trying to put ladders up to this home, putting their own safety at risk. The whole house was in flames. They heard screams for help. Neighbors first thought about a man with multiple sclerosis as this fire raged. I just thought, I hope that they got him out. A next door neighbor explains how they tried to use ladders to rescue the family trapped inside. Stayed over there. I went and got the ladder, got over the fence, put the ladder up the window, uh, tried to go up there as much as possible, but the smoke was so bad that uh, I was losing my breath. Ralph Andrade and his wife Josie made it out. Their son Ralph Jr., who was bedridden, did not. Trini Robles rushed over just as firefighters brought Josie out of the house. We sat her down, put some socks on her, and wrapped her in a blanket and took her to the front and mm -hmm. put her in the ambulance. Today, Robles was at the hospital with extended family. She's also taking care of a family dog that escaped the fire. Still shaken by what they saw, not thinking twice about running toward the flames. I don't want to be the hero out of all this. I mean, you couldn't ask for better neighbors. You could call the people who rushed over to help Good Samaritans, but they'll just tell you they were being good neighbors. It's just a really close community, and, you know, when you see somebody in trouble, you just, I don't think you think, you just act. Yeah, people have been stopping by the house to leave flowers or say a prayer. A lot of the neighbors, too, thinking about doing something for this family. They do have a GoFundMe account set up. We have a link to that on our website. I talked with fire investigators today, and they tell me it could take a long time to determine what caused this fire. They can't even tell if the home had smoke detectors because it was damaged so bad. Reporting live was Gillardi, Denver 7. Oh, what a tragedy. Thank you, Liz.